Hi, Dr. Valerie here. Did you know when you go into menopause, natural menopause, your ovarian function does not just turn off. The ovaries are not like a light switch. They're on now and then they're off tomorrow. That's not how menopause works. Menopause is a phase where your ovarian function will start to slowly decrease what level of hormones it's making, in particular estrogen in that case. Because in menopause, you typically will see the estrogen drop down. Now in some women, that estrogen plummet like a stone in a lake. In other women, it can just sort of decide to drop a little bit or maybe come back up. So I'd like to uh, sort of talk about a case that I just saw. So I had a patient, and I've seen this many times over the years. She's in her early 50s, and she's going to go, she's just starting menopause. So about six months ago when I saw her, she had stopped getting her periods. Uh, she was starting to have some hot flashes during the day and some night sweats at night, a little bit of brain fog, just in general, not feeling so well. But you know, we, we talked about hormone replacement. She wasn't quite ready. We wanted to talk about doing some things to actually kind of help support her body as she's going into menopause, because this was all new for her rather than just kind of jumping into the HRT right away. So over the last six months, we've done some lifestyle changes, some supplementation, um, some just some general sort of anti-inflammatory work in her lifestyle and exercise. And she, now it's been six months later, and when I got her blood work, I asked her, well, what happened? Are you getting your period? And yes, her period came back. So her ovarian function had dropped six months ago, and then it started to come back a little bit. So that's how it works in menopause. It doesn't just go away. Eventually it will, because that's just how you know nature works. So for example, I tested her follicle stimulating hormone last year, about six months ago. Her FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone, is a signal that comes from the pituitary, and it monitors your overall ovarian status, basically the estrogen levels. So her FSH level was up in the 70s. It was at 77. So normally in a menstruating female, that FSH might be anywhere between two to maybe up to 10 to 12, depending on where they are in their cycle. But when that estrogen starts to drop, or the ovaries start stop producing the estrogen, the FSH notices that and it starts to raise its voice. So you'll see that FSH go up. So last year, six months ago, her FSH was in the 70s. Now when I did her blood work, her FSH is at 20. And I asked, and she was actually making some estradiol. Her estradiol went from less than 15, nothing to be found in the bloodstream six months ago, and right now it's at 56. So I asked her, are you getting a period? Have you gotten your period back? And she said, yes, she's actually had her last three periods, January, February, and March. She's had three periods, they've been in a row, and she says she feels great. She's sleeping great, her hair skin looks beautiful, she works out every day, she's feeling good. So, you know, sometimes in menopause, the ovaries decline a little bit and then they come back, and sometimes they wanna work part-time, sometimes they work full-time. So inevitably, her ovarian function is gonna go down and estrogen's gonna drop again, but we wanna just support her body as she goes through this process, and then when she's ready, if she wants to do HRT, we can go in that direction, or we there are so many other natural directions we go in at the time. But for right now, she's feeling great. Thanks for watching.